Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. It's a very special day for a lot of reasons. Fortunately, uh, and for, the right, for all the right reasons, the uh, sun sort of comes out, but it's certainly warmer than it's been the last week. Rightfully so. This is an occasion that we've been looking forward to for quite some time. It just seems like a few months ago, we were standing behind this particular structure and uh, looking at conceptual drawings and uh, only dreaming of what the place could, could be, what the club could be. And today it becomes a reality. So I have a number of people to, to thank. It, it, you know, there's so much going on with the clubs, there's so much activity. Right now we are see, taking care of and, and providing support to 17,000 kids in the Hillsborough County area and surrounding areas. Uh, and that's through 21 different sites teen programs, after school programs, and actual club sites. So um, there's, a, there's a lot of activity and we always need support. So we're very thankful when people give up their time and their effort and financial resources. Last year we had the Girl Up campaign. We raised $50,000 uh, to support young ladies to become leaders in a community. And uh, you know, 35 years ago, it was just a boys club. And uh, so a lot of growth has occurred. And uh, last, year, last year we focused our campaign efforts on supporting the Girl Up campaign. This year we, are, we have another campaign called the Power of Us. The Power of Us campaign is really going to focus on the collaborative efforts of the working relationship between the clubs and the community. This has become, our clubs have become far more than just a place for kids. It's become a safe haven and a support system for families and that important relationship uh, brings forth our positive reputation in the community. We have a number of people that we would like to thank. Uh, we have the Hillsborough County, the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners. And that relationship with the county is, is also important. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and office. Um, and there's five clubs now, I think, that we have the, the uh, close working relationship as a result of the efforts with the, with the Sheriff's Department. Uh, this began, I think, with Sheriff G and uh, carried over to um, uh, my dear friend and, and colleague who is next to be introduced, uh, uh, Chad Cronister, uh, who is, also serves as a board member. He, he not only puts his time and effort in supporting the clubs through the Sheriff's Department, but his own time and effort of serving on the uh, board of directors. So for that, we are sincerely thankful. And finally, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the Hashim family. So Loris, you, Michelle, Bobby, we, we can't thank you enough. I, I remember meeting you a, a few months ago and, uh, and the excitement that, you, that was within you all, the emotions that were there. And uh, I, I purposely didn't walk through to see the uh, to, to see the club just yet. I'm gonna wait and go in with everybody else when we cut the ribbon. So I'm still, I still remain excited. So you, you can, you know, your, your excitement's probably uh, you already passed. You've been there, done that. But uh, we're thrilled to death and, and can't thank you enough. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce my friend and colleague and a fellow board member, the uh, head of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Chad Cronister. Thank you, Chris, and uh, the other members of the board for everything you do. It is a pleasure to speak on behalf of the 3,500 men and women of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office for this wonderful occasion. It does seem like just yesterday that we were all gathered with pink hard hats, some shiny shovels, to break ground on a new club. Yes, I had my pink hat on too. As a matter of fact, it was about 11 months ago and if you look around, you can see what ambition and dedication can produce in less than 11 months. This fantastic new club. Nice going to everyone involved. Opening the doors of the Hashem Foundation Club is so much more than just letting children and teens 
walk inside. It's opening doors to their minds and opening the doors to their futures. It's about allowing these children, it's about allowing these children know that there will always be an open door. Too many times our youth encounter a closed door in the family or in society. No more, especially for the fortunate children who live in the town and country area. Thank you. That's why opening doors and keeping them open is the cornerstone of the Sheriff's Office, the Sheriff's Office's partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa Bay. They say that you are judged by the company that you keep. We couldn't be more proud of our association with the Boys and Girls Clubs and what they stand for. We've been partners for over six years. We've been side by side for the opening of five other clubs. There is more to come, so stay tuned. These clubs help us, your deputy sheriffs, to build trust with our youth. That is one of the most important ingredients in modern day law enforcement. You have to be vested you have to be able to connect with the younger generation. You may have heard me say it before, but these clubs change lives and they change minds. It used to be cool to run away from the police. Now through clubs, now through the club's mentoring programs, the youth are running to us these days. How cool is that? Boys and Girls Club, keep, kid in, keep kids in school. Help them graduate and help them avoid making a mistake that puts them in the juvenile justice system. Nearly every child that completes a Boys and Girls Club program will never experience the juvenile justice system. Once again, I say, how cool is that? We've seen juvenile related crimes go down when we open a club in a neighborhood. It's just more proof that an open door invites an open mind. You allow, you allow a child to know that somebody cares, that a deputy isn't out there just to hassle or cause you trouble, but to show you there is another way of life. So yes, judge the sheriff's office by the company we keep, bring it on. Our partnership with the Boys and Girls Club is brick and mortar proof that we care. And the Hashem Foundation Club, from this day forward, is going to be the shining light on the hill. And that shining light is the dream of Sam and Larice Hashem, Bobby, Michelle, and their family. They've always, had a big, they've always had big visions to help our youth, and today that vision becomes a reality. We know Sam is with us today, proud that his legacy of caring is standing tall in this community. In a world where it is ever too popular to put out our blinders, Ignore anything that doesn't directly affect us. Our community is blessed with a few individuals who have the courage to make a difference, wanting to not only be a part of the fabric of community, but to make it stronger. Larice, Michelle, you have done that here today and that fabric will go stronger with every child who passes through this door. Please help me thank, applaud, congratulate and welcome Larice Hashem and her daughter Michelle to the stage, please. First First and foremost, I want to thank my late husband, Sam Hashem, for being passionate about children, education, and always being willing to give a helping hand, always believing in education. We wanted to set up a foundation for higher education. However, Sam became very ill on March 31st, 2016. Sadly, my husband passed away. 
I was not going to let that dream die. It was at that time my daughter, Michelle, made her annual request for a donation to the Boys and Girls Club of East Valley in Arizona, where she had been living. It was then that we turned our attention to the local chapter. Michelle contacted her father, Drew Meredith, former chairman of the Boys and Girls Club on a national level. He connected us with Glenn Permew, who was at that time senior vice president on a national level. From Glenn, we learned so much. We learned more about the needs of the club and how the children that we would want to assist with higher education may never even graduate from high school had it not been for the Boys and Girls Club. We learned in certain areas of Tampa, students became distracted by dangerous influences or had parents who were working two to three jobs just to make ends meet or had parents who unfortunately did not have the ability to help their children to succeed. Some of our friends are here today and they may not be aware that the club not only nurtures their minds but also provides a small stack which may be the only meal that some of these children receive. The club provides a safe nurturing place where students are required to focus on homework and school projects before being allowed to enter other activities. I was very impressed. I got a sneak peek. Wait until you see the, um, the activities that they'll be able to participate in. They learn time management in a supportive and safe environment which allows students to grow and thrive after school and even during the summertime, keeping children out of the clutches of gangs and other undesirable activities. It's all about enabling students to reach their highest potential, become good citizens in our community, and create success by mentoring them on a higher level of education. Glenn then connected us with Chris Lettos, president of the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa Bay. And there, Michelle and I decided that the Boys and Girls Club would not only honor Sam's wishes, but our wishes as well. We want to thank everyone at the Boys and Girls Club, contractors, everyone working tirelessly with Michelle and I to make this possible. I'd also like to thank my son-in-law, Robert, for his support. I'd like to thank my sister and her husband, my sister Selwyn, her husband Scott, and all my family and friends that are here in loving support of this day and in honor of the children. May God bless all of you. So once again, in loving memory of the love of my life, Sam Hashem, Michelle and I would like to present this one final check of one million dollars to allow our club to be maintained, prosper in prosperity, in perpetuity, as the Sam and Larice Hashem Boys and Girls Club at Town and Country. I'd like Chris to come up here and Glenn and to receive this check.
We made this commitment a year ago. It's here. We're so excited to be part of this. Thank you all for being here. Our next guest, wow, that, that's big. I want to walk into the bank with a, a million dollar check, you know. I'm not sure, not sure they let me do a whole lot with that one. <laughs> our, next, our next guest is one of our club kids who's no longer a kid. He has grown up over the years. It's been a pleasure watching Hassan develop over the time that uh, I've been associated with the clubs and he has a few words to say. Let me introduce Hassan Lewis. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share my story with you all. Um, I've been part of the town and country community now for about 11 years. Um, when I first came here, I was told that town and country wasn't the best area to live in. Um, you know, I was, I was told that there was a lot of uh, violence and a lot of uh, distractions that, you know, would keep me from, you know, achieving my goals. Um, but I didn't let that stop me. I came to the Boys and Girls Club with the open mind and an open heart. Um, I had peers that uh, showed me this place. I mean, we were originally in the back building there with about 70 members. Uh, I was one of them, you know, so uh, I, I, I've seen what this community has become. I, I'm watching it grow. I've grown with it and uh, I, I can't, you know, just even describe, uh, you know, my experience here. Um, it, it's definitely been one that has kept me grounded, has kept me focused, um, has inspired me not only to, you know, be great for myself, but for my peers, for a lot of the youth here in the, uh, you know, the community as well. And now I'm, you know, I'm able to welcome them into this great club, um, you know, and it's all thanks to the Hashem family as well for believing in this vision that we had for the town and country community, you know, my community, my peers community, you know, the youth's community. And, uh, you know, we're all here ready, you know, ready to go. I, I was in a meeting about a year ago with Miss Janine, um, and she was explaining this to me. And at that point, it was just an idea. Um, you know, it, it was something I couldn't even envision. Um, and I've been here about, you know, for a week now, you know, just getting to know the new building, uh, getting to see a lot of the new things that uh, the kids are gonna get to enjoy. And, um, you know, as, as a youth, I would have loved to have these things. So I'm so proud that they're able to. And again, to the Hashem family, I, I can't thank you all enough. Um, there was so much, you know, effort that went into making this a possibility and, and making sure that these youth are being properly served and being properly engaged and being given opportunities, you know, that we could have only dreamed of as kids and, and, and they have it now. So, you know, thank you so much. You know, thank you for believing in this community. Thank you for believing in the Boys and Girls Club. Um, you know, they've impacted me in, in many ways and, and, you know, for you all to be a part of that, it, it's very special to me. Um, we've always had a family here and, uh, you know, you guys have definitely taken in this family and, and welcomed it, you know, with open arms. So to you all, I appreciate you all, to the Boys and Girls Club, you know, I thank you all for all your continued support, um, you know, and I, I hope I make you all proud. I know, you know, the town and country staff, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna take care of this for you guys. So, you, you know, thank you for believing in us uh, and, you know, thank you for everything, so. Thank you, Hassan. That is exactly why we support the Boys and Girls Club. Hassan has uh, worked his way up. He's developed, he's established a career. He's a, a professional and well-spoken. So Hassan, thank you very much. I also want to, before we uh, cut the ribbon and take a tour, I want to uh, welcome Susan Valdez, Hillsborough County School Board. Susan. Do you, you, you have something? Pardon? Would you like to say something? What a beautiful way to start off the new year. Mrs. Hashem, Michelle, thank you very much for making this seed grow into such a beautiful blossom facility that here we have a fellow Falcon, class of 2014, 15 to be able to be here and testify the importance of these facilities in conjunction with our partners in the county 
and the sheriff and this and it's just beautiful and it warms my heart to see us as a community come together in a time of so much uncertainty and of so much of well things that aren't positive if you will to have something that is this positive occurring in the town and country area is something surely to celebrate and I know that our children in future years to come will definitely enjoy the fruits of your vision and your passion of you and your husband and your family. So thank you very much for making this possible for the children of town and country and, and the children of Hillsborough County period. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful day today. Thank you. And again, before we do the ribbon cutting, I, there's uh, two more introductions, at least by introduction only. I want to make sure that we thank uh, those from Hillsborough County, uh, Rick Valdez and Dexter over here. Thank you very much for being here. You're always supportive, always here, and we thank you. So uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors, the Boys and Girls Club, I want to just once again give you my uh, special appreciation and thank you. And uh, it's because of people like you that make the clubs so successful. And yes, it, it's, it's Chris Letzos, it's his team, but if it wasn't for the support of people like you and the generosity, we wouldn't be able to do nearly what we, what we do in this community. So thank you again. If we can invite the Hashem family up, please. As well as uh, Rick Valdez, any other representatives from the county? 